Dudleys, it's Lex, and welcome back to Fallout 3. We are still working on our Operation Anchorage DLC here. And I'm pretty sure that when we go out this door is possibly going to be whenever we get to see one of the fun Easter eggy things that they have in this DLC. I can't remember if it's right after the first set of, like, mission stuff that we do or if it's after this one. So, we'll see. I think, I want it, I, I Sorry, think it's boys. now. I'm going to make you famous. Get yourselves into a heroic pose. Okay, that's it. Just like that. Hold still. Excellent. The Capitol Post thanks you. Who knows? Maybe someone will turn this photo into a statue one day. <laughs> All right. You boys try not to die out there, okay? God bless you. And God bless the U.S. of A. So, that's just like a cute little DLC, uh, like, Easter egg -y type thing that they did. Uh, if you go to the Anchorage Memorial, the pose that those guys are in is the pose that the statues are in for the Anchorage Memorial, which I thought Listening was a fun little touch. Secured, sir. Awaiting new orders. We're going to the ice camp. Yes, sir. Ben, you wait. For the strike team, sir? Uh, we don't have a strike team. It's kind of just me Can and you. Do. Give us missiles. And an infantry guy. And a grenade. -er. All right, let's go. So, ah, there's my strike team. So last episode, we went that away. And this episode, we're going uh, to the left here. And then the very last portion is the pulse field that's in the middle there. Um, you could have done this left portion um, before you did the right side. It honestly, like I said in the other, the previous video, it doesn't matter what order you do these in. Um, there's also an option that I kind of skipped over the dialogue a little bit, I Ice think. Camps, right? Attack them. Okay, bye. Um, you do have the option to, like, override the computer system. Um, if your computer science and stuff is high enough, um, and just skip the simulation, but... If you do that, you're just skipping the DLC totally. Uh, so I, I don't know why you would want to do that. Um, cause like I said, if you do that, you just literally um, don't do the DLC then. Like you would totally skip over it and, and honestly just wouldn't be doing it. Which seems kind of dumb to me, like to pay for DLC or whatever and then like not do it because you chose you know you did that dialogue choice to not do it there is a uh, briefcase in this section um but it's in the next like internment camp area over here internment camp is that what they're called <laughs> I don't know. All I know is I feel bad about killing the dogs, and I really don't want to. There's our briefcase. Seven out of ten. We're so close. Excuse me. Where's Benji? There he is. Ice camp secured, sir. Awaiting further orders. Uh, let's go. Yes, sir. Go to the Chimera Depot. I was always confused about that, and then I guess a Chimera is a kind of tank. Oh, <gasps> you Stupid missile launcher man, you killed them! You can save them for extra XP if your missile launcher guy doesn't fucking explode them. What a dick! Literally just exploded his own guys. Rude. This guy's broken, I think. He's moving really slow. We also have some cool armor on. Spider bombs! Let's 
Oh my god. That missile clencher guy is such an asshole. He just killed another dude. Ah, uh, this game. Ah! Light bombs! I think those things are really neat. They're gonna blow me up, though. I think they're just, like, little, um... Frag mines, but they have like little legs. So I just kind of ignore the snipers here. Just head on in. go up to the left here get our health and our stuff and our briefcase oh I need two more and then you want to watch is once you set this thing to, to blow up it's it's just like the other artillery thing you only have a certain amount of time to get out of the way so I'd suggest you plant it and you know get a move on oh I'm gonna switch to our grenades here. Just kidding. I need to go back to my gun. Now we can switch to our grenade. Or not. Let's go back. Because they've got a big tank shooting at us now. So that's their, like, Chimera tank. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Cause like, I keep thinking of like a, like a chimera, like something that's a hybrid. Maybe that's what they mean. Like it's some kind of hybrid tank. That's why it's called that. I don't know. So you could set this now and run away, but I like to go into this other little building and just and, and kill these other guys first. And that just loops. Set it and forget it. Let's go this way so we can watch it blow up. Hooray! Wasn't that fun? That should be the last of them. And the last of the bombing runs on our guys. Thanks to you. I'm gonna order our men back to the field HQ. There aren't any See men, Benji. They're all dead. Another achievement? Huzzah! Okay. Alright. We are now going to start our very last part for Operation Anchorage DLC. Sadly, this will be our last episode of the Operation Anchorage DLC. All right. So the only thing that we have left to do, like Benji said, is to do the pulse field. So this one, you don't get your strike team. It's just the two of you. But I mean, I don't know how much that him or the strike team has actually really done for us. Okay. 
I try to stay like to the path with this one just because since there are like random bombs and things, um, I've totally gotten like exploded before. We're down in the trenches. Pop in here. There's a guy to save. They took us by surprise. Get our briefcase. We only have one you. more. Thanks for the rescue. And the last briefcase is almost at the very, very end of okay. the like. Mission. So you can kind of like relax for a little bit with the briefcases. I think I find the guys with the flamethrowers the most annoying. So, I like to go to the left here. Both my legs are crippled, isn't this lovely? Oh, I'm not crippled anymore, wonderful. All right, we decrypted something, fantastic. Yeah, I don't know why I like to go to the left first, but, um, I know I keep saying this, but it, it doesn't matter what way you go. That's just the way that I like to go. You could totally skip that whole thing that I just did, because there's really nothing over there except for health. So you could just go to the, to the right. Then back here, there's a missile launcher guy. So I'll try to vats him first. Now, that thing over there has like the turrets. For the longest time, I thought that you, like, had to take those turrets out, but you don't. Like, you can just go right through. I have no idea why I thought that you had to take those turrets out to, like, advance.
have sworn I made our science skill 50. I must not have. I mean, apparently I didn't. Oh, so this part is, like, sad to me, because to disarm the pulse field, that guy has to go out there and, like, die and overload it. So he has to, let, you know, he has to, like, sacrifice himself so that you can go out here and finish the mission. We want to go over to this building. And that's where our last briefcase is. And I know one of the first times that I did this, I kept thinking, I had to have missed it. I had to have missed it. They're not going to put it this late. There's no way. There's no way. And it's, it's up in here. There it is. 10 out of 10. Woo! Push the button. Ready. So these are all our uh, hollow tapes. I'm going to go ahead and play them, all the ones that we found for that guy. Um, but, I mean, obviously you can skip over if you don't care about it. Audio log begin. This is Captain Zachary Lloyd, United States Army Anchorage, Alaska Security Detachment. We are approximately two hours into the Chinese assault on this outpost. We are being shelled nonstop, indiscriminately. The entire base is under bombardment from the Chinese ships, and they don't care who they hit. All accounts indicate they've actually killed more of their own men than ours. They just do not seem to care about their own troops at all. At this rate, the entire mountain will be a graveyard in less than an hour, and then the Chinese will just move in and set up shop. God help us. God help America. Molly, I hope this tape gets to you, some way, somehow. I don't have a lot of time, but you need to know what happened to me. The early reports weren't bullshit. The Chinese are here. As in, they're invading Anchorage in force, right now. This is the real deal. It makes Pearl Harbor look like an academy exercise. I've never seen so many goddamn warships. Sergeant Lowry has ordered the platoon to assemble in the mess in 15 minutes. The plan is to dig in on the cliffs and slow the Chinese advance until the civilian contractors can evacuate. And then... Then we hold the line, for as long as we can. I talked to Derny, Cielo, and Dallas, and we all agreed. Surrender is not an option. I never told you, but that night in Cleveland, on the Ferris wheel, that was when I fell in love with you. Goodbye, Molly. I... I'm sorry. This is Private First Class Henry Hodges, signing out. Audio log begins. This is Captain Zachary Lloyd, United States Army, Anchorage, Alaska Security Detachment. Approximately 23 minutes ago, Chinese Communist forces set foot on Anchorage soil, despite our soldiers' best efforts to prevent that landing. As expected, the Chinese have launched a two-pronged attack, one aimed at occupying Anchorage proper, and the other at securing this base. Thanks to our entrenchment, U.S. casualties here on the mountain are currently minimal, that's not going to last for long. Chinese reinforcements appear to be 
endless. It's just a matter of time before we're overrun. We'll die today. But by God, we'll give those communist sons of bitches a black eye they'll never forget. Lloyd out. Oh, Molly. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I can't do this. I'm so afraid, Molly. I don't want to die. Oh, my God, I don't want to die. We held them as long as we could. I swear we did. Then Cielo asked for a magazine, and when I turned to give it to him, a shell hit. He's gone, Molly. He was there one second, and then he wasn't. His blood and... and bits of him. Oh, my God, he's all over me! Please, 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 let them leave. Let them leave. Let them leave. I just want to come home. I just want to be with you again. I'm hiding now. The Chinese are everywhere. I'm a coward. I'm a coward, I know, but I don't care. If they find me, I'm surrendering. Molly, I'm... I'm okay. Everything's fine. I was found, but not by the Chinese. It was the captain. He found me. The cap says everything will be okay. It's been a few hours, and I'm tired. But I wanted to let you know I'm all right. I'm in the refinery now, resting. Cap brought me here. We snuck around the Chinese and made it in. It's the last place they have to be. I got... I got shot in the shoulder. And that. And Cap and I evacuated the mountain. It's not bad. Just a few bullets. Souvenirs, right? Cap jabbed me with a bunch of meds, so I can't feel much of anything. Patch me up pretty good, too. Still bleed, but that'll stop. I can hear Cap and the others out in the yard, fighting. So much gunfire. They'll kill those Chinese bastards. Then we can all come home. All right, so that's those hollow tanks. All that's left is General Jing Wan. We take him out, and we've won Anchorage. Let's do it! Okay, let's do it. Me and my crippled leg. <laughs> so it's gonna take us longer to walk there. I think that's supposed to be the, like, Alaskan pipeline, which is a thing here that's, like, an oil thing? I don't know. It might not be. I'm bad at geography and history and things of that nature, environmental, whatever you have. But I'm pretty sure that that's what that's, like, supposed to be. Blew that up with some fat mans, huh? The refinery? Oh no, that's where Lil Timmy is, or whatever the hell his name was. I don't remember what his name was, because I don't care about him. Because he's not real. Uh, let's do a speech check. We didn't do it. So he's like actually kind of like hard to kill. They just like won't die. I don't want to run out of 
bullets. Ooh, I might die. Oh no. <gasps> Son of a bitch. That's some bullshit. Oh, that sucks. Oh, okay, it's just right here. I guess we get to try the speed check again. Sneeman the ship. General's death, our boys can secure this refinery and be on their way to Anchorage proper. You've helped pave the way for taking the city back from the Reds, soldier. Good work. You've also gone above and beyond the call of duty by recovering important enemy intel and exposing their plans to us. Again, well done, soldier. That'll complete this portion of your training. Report to your superior for debriefing and your next assignment. Dismissed. So oh, that's the end of us being in the computer simulation here. And since we found all 10 pieces of intel, uh, we get a special thingy. Whoop. Good job making it through that simulation. All you have to do now is open the armory. And as agreed, you get your share. Feel free to take whatever you want. If our records are right, there's plenty for all of us. So, if we go to our stats and then our perks, um, this covert ops, since we recovered um, all of the hidden intel, it's a perk that we got, which is pretty nifty nifty that we get it. And yeah, so this episode's getting a little long. I know you guys are going to be mad because I'm not going to go open the thing on this episode. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. As always, please feel free to leave me suggestions in the comments down below for any other videos that you would like me to do or suggestions you have that I can do to make the Let's Play a little bit better. Or just say hello if you want to say hello. But yeah, I guess you'll have to come back for the next one to see what happens whenever you open the armory. But have a wonderful rest of your day, guys, and I will see everybody in the next video. Thank you.